Sports brought to you by Jim White Honda. Good evening, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you live inside the Fetterman training facility on the campus of Toledo, joined by some Little League baseballers as well here behind me. But earlier this morning, this field belonged to Toledo football, who just wrapped up their second practice of spring ball. Now, coming off a season where they lost the final two games to end the year, a bitter taste surrounds the program. But let's not forget the history UT made last year as well, rattling off 11 straight wins, which hadn't been done in over 50 years, not to mention another appearance in the MAC title game. Now, obviously, some of that production of talent now gone off the team, either due to players transferring out or graduation, which means this period of practice time may prove to be more pivotal than last year. On top of some defensive battles, Jason Candle will have to replace all five of his offensive linemen, something the program hasn't seen in nearly a decade. Experience does return, though, for the team. Six All-Mac players are back for Toledo, who continue to carry a drive towards success. We're taking it one day at a time, one day at a time, one practice at a time, one weight lift at a time. Um, we're not going to overthink everything. We're going to stay humble and keep working. There's a lot of guys that are trying to show that they want a starting spot, so it's going to be really competitive. You know, last year a lot of our depth chart was kind of already set in stone. And, you know, this year there's a lot of open spots available. So everybody's, you know, competing and there's good energy. These guys are, you know, chomping at the bit to get back. Every time a good player moves on, there's always somebody that's waited patiently for their turn. And, um, you know, that part of it is exciting to watch those guys go out and try to compete and try to, you know, show what they've been, you know, really preparing to do. 